Hey YouTube, Dan Otto here, coming at you with another Ultra League Premier Classic team. And this one is building around the core. So I hit Legend last season with an open Ultra with Dragonite, Escav, and Jellicent. So Jellicent was like level 40 something, over over excelled for this league. So replace Jellicent with Empoleon, because Empoleon is very nice in this meta because it covers your Charizards. It covers sort of, does okay against like Swampert, depending on like the Earthquake and shadow or first non-shadow and it like if now a lot more people come with grass to deal with the swampert it has the draw pack for the grass and it's half steel so it goes neutral to grass so it's a nice little pokemon uh to use in this meta so let's get into some of the battles terrible lead uh come in pull on as a safe swap you essentially need to come in pull and safe swap because you cannot come in with escav and have dragonite or not dragonite yeah well dragonite or um charizard come out because then you are just absolutely <laughs> dead they were in huge trouble so napoleon bulky not, not bulky but like heavy hitting enough with waterfall even resisted drill peck uh, as a nice uh as a nice cover move so i grab one shield there they're low they could have the reason i'm coming here now is because i know their first pokemon I know I would have to shield um, the Dragonite if I came in there. So I'm just coming in here right away. Hoping that what I can do here is shield once, get one superpower off to force a shield. I'm just going to, I think I'd probably bait. Yeah, because I'm assuming that they're just going to shield. I don't want to be farmed down, so I bait. Because what I can do now is if I get the second shield, which I do, I get to a second move, which is why I baited. Because otherwise I would have been able to farm me down. So I baited with that. My defense does not drop. They're forced to throw. I can now come in here, and I'm just going to load up with energy. Uh, I'm going to shield the move because uh, Glycos Pod is just garbage, <laughs> quite honestly. It does not hit hard. I go for the draw first because I don't know my typings. Uh, figure out that it is resisted, so that's not going to work. Good thing I am so loaded with energy that I get the Mega Horn off. This Mega Horn will do enough to take it out. So... Despite us coming over a tough lead there, Dragonite is good as long as you keep it away from like ice and rock. <laughs> and fa I guess fairy too, but I've not seen many of those. I've seen one or two, but not many fairies. So when you get a decent lead, you stay in, you grab shields, and then hope your back end can just dominate. Um, is that enough to get to? I mean, I, Leaf Blade will take me out from here, so I'm just going to let it. Oh, it does not even take me out, and they snipe with Charizard. Which I guess is a good snipe, but not when you have Napoleon coming in here. So I'm just going to go. If they threw the Blast Burn here, I'm going to shield and just go for the full farm. They bait me with Dragon Claw. So I'm like, uh, okay, so now I got to throw here. Because I don't want them to now get to a Fire Blast. Blast Burn. How many times am I going to say that? I don't want them to get to a Blast Burn and have to double shield and then have them still remain. So shield up the Blast Burn, knowing that I can just farm down even shields. Come out with energy. Um, the Glade is low. I don't want to take a close combat from Glade. And out comes a Typhlosion that they then try to catch on the Glade. I over farm bit here. It is just Leaf Blade. They didn't get to a close combat, so Leaf Blade does not take me out. Have a Hydro Cannon. We'll take it out. So again, in Polion, there's there's a lot of fire in this. There is even Glade. Like you would have resisted the confusions, right? So. Napoleon's a pretty strong Pokemon in this meta. Uh, again, if you have a decent lead, just stay in here. I'm just chipping right away because the goal is just trying to get shields down or do as much damage as possible. I'm going to let it go. Uh, and if they poison Fang me, I'll switch out into Polion. If they don't, if they, that would have been taken out if they did Shadow Ball, but they just went uh, with the bait move. So I can take one Cross Chop. At this point, I just want to do a Hydro Cannon and then uh, get out. And then, of course, they get the double attack boost. So they're definitely going to shield and farm now, which is very unfortunate. They don't even farm. They don't even shield. The problem is, I come in here knowing that I have to shield up one because the counters are resisted. I don't want to take neutral counters on my Escav. So I just come in here, get the full farm now, which is nice. I expect them to come back in with their uh crowbat but they come in with gramble so i gotta switch immediately and this is tricky um 
I need to either call the Shadow Ball or line up Shielding Poison Fang, which is rough. Um, the good news is because Dragon Breath has done, I already mentioned this in my other video with Dragonite. Dragon Breath just does so much damage that you're able to get um, just so much fast move damage off that you're able to just put a lot of these Pokemon low as long as it's not resisted. So put it low enough, hit this with the Drill Run, get a second Drill Run off, this will put it low enough, and now I banked a move on my Dragonite, so it's going to come to a resisted CMP superpower here from a Shadow. Can it take out a Gramble? It's already in the yellow. It does take out the Gramble, so despite running into trouble there, able to get away with it. There Dragonite comes in, and I think I make a big mistake here. Because what I just essentially just did is I switch block myself and I'm just coming into a superpower here. So I shield up one superpower. They get a second one off. So I, I shield up the first one, which is good. They're still going to get a second move off, which does a ton of damage. They're going to get their Obstacoon, which is going to get a little farm on me. I do get a Hydro Cannon off, so that's not bad. Problem is my Dragonite is real low. They now have farm. So I just got to come Escav. Uh, take one Night Slash, hope I can take what's in the back at this point. But unfortunately, going into the last Pokemon, this game is over. I'm going to have to try and cat. There's no condition. <laughs> I was like, what can, you what can I do? Nothing. You cannot do anything against the Charizard. Everything is resisted. Um, I try to catch. I do catch a move, which is good because that's some energy. But they end up having like multiple blast burns. Wing attacks are still neutral to you because you're half steel, but you're half bug, which is why you just get it like lit up by fire. Um, and then this game's over. So yeah, Escav is one of those interesting ones where it's like great against wall rain, great against the grass, just so bad against flyers. And the main flyer in Charizard is a tough. So we have fluffy in my face. Uh, they catch. It was a Sylveon. They catch on a Wall Rain, which is a good catch. Very annoying. Uh, but they are going to have to get to an Earthquake here. So do they shield or do they let this go? They do shield, so I'm up a shield. I can't... So right now I'm in huge trouble because my Dragon has no play against this and my Dragon has no play against a Sylveon. And I'll let this go and they do Earthquake. So... Am I going to come in and get ahead on energy here? Yeah. Come in. Basically just shield up an earthquake. Get ahead on energy. Hope that this can also take out whatever is in the back. Escav is going to have to run here. So I know the Sylveon is there. So I think I'm going to have to chip here and try to catch a Hydro Cannon. And I do catch a Hydro Cannon, and that is about as much as Dragonite is going to do this matchup, because now I get a little farm. They're going to bank a move here, which is fine. Uh, they're pretty low. They get a move off here. I think it's just a side Shock, and it doesn't take me out, and I just superpower now. Yeah, just do any chip damage to see if I can take this down with counters, which I, I cannot. It's still... Sylveon's like sneaky, <laughs> tanky. Everything is resisted. Psy Shock is resisted, Move Less is resisted, and these quick attacks aren't doing anything. So I just let that go, knowing that I'm going to have to come out with like 100 energy, as much as I can, but I'm going to have to throw one move. And now it is a race between, can I get to two drill runs, or are they going to get to two hydros, or, as you saw the counter go through there, before they get to two hydros, can I counter down? And I do counter down for the win. So Escav pulling in pulling their weight right there. Uh, so I like the team, like Escav, Dragonite is a good core. Obviously Escav is having trouble with all the flyers that are now in Premier Classic, but you cover those flyers with a steel water, steel water Pokemon and a Dragonite, which is Dr Dragon Red damage does a ton. So that is it, that is the team. Um, worked pretty well for me. I think I went like four one with the team. I tried, I mentioned in my other video, I tried before this team and after my all water team, I tried, um, Crustal just could not make it work. So I got this team. I got uh, one more team, one more strong team coming, one more strong and fun team coming. 
uh, and then we'll see and then i think that's it yeah monday tuesday wednesday and that's it and then we'll go into thursday into the next league and we'll go over teams there so that's it appreciate the thumbs up appreciate you commenting and subscribing if you are new to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one